Can we eliminate the thoughts and be free from the mind fluctuations ever? Uh, eliminate the uh, like, uh, permanent elimination is uh, quite impossible because while we are in this materialistic world, we need mind as a tool to function in this materialistic world. So it's quite, uh, I don't know if it's, it's necessary, what's necessary and what uh, is according to Patanjali Yoga Sutra is to seize the fluctuations of the mind. When we are able to seize the fluctuations of the mind, we are able to see that the peace, the joy, everything is within and mind is not, is not our enemy, the data is not our enemy. That the, the data helps us to, uh, you know, live in the metallistic world, to keep our physical body, uh, metallistic body function properly in the metallistic world. So mind is not an enemy, it's an amazing tool. Uh, the thing is when we start practicing yoga, we under understand it better. We are able to see the mind and we are able to use, utilize it in a proper way. That's the purpose of the yoga, to seize all the fluctuations of the within, all the fluctuations over the consciousness, so that we can see who we are, and we can see what the mind is, what the body is, and we can work in a union instead of a mind against us. So that's the purpose of the yoga. And illumination, I, According to my experiences, I don't know if that's possible to eliminate it completely, but I don't think it's necessary. What necessary is simply seize when we want and use the mind when we want. So, thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.